Hello everyone, every pony, every person out there on YouTube. Today we are going to be breeding. Well, I'm not going to be breeding, but I'm going to be showing you um, what cows you put together to produce the other colors or variants. And yes, you can breed cows. This is how you breed them. So first off, there's three different cows you can purchase from the shop. So if you go into, if you go into build, you're going to go into shop and then there's animals here. So there's only the white cow, the black cow, or the chocolate cow that you can currently purchase right now. So all of mine are fully grown. And let me tell you to get some of the ones that you need. It is a pain in the butt. You do. Oh, it took me a very long time. So this is that. That's why this video has taken me a while. It took me a while to make this video. <laughs> so first off, what you need to do is make sure that your little area has a barn. And if you go in, it shows you, let's see if I can do this here. It shows you like, um, how big of a square, you know, where your cow is going to be like, it helps. How do I put this? grow faster, breed faster, produce milk faster. So it just helps any type of production with your cow. So make sure you have a barn. And you also need to make sure that your area is fenced in. They need to be fenced in. So make sure that they have plenty of feed, which it does look like a chicken on the feed. So they do use the chicken feed. Okay, I make sure mine's fed. And then you also make sure that there is water. So I suggest having a well nearby go ahead grab your water and i'm glad they fixed this because before you had to put three pails of water in here and now you only have to have two and it's full all right so let me show you what you need and uh what you create or what you need <laughs> so this one here is my breeding pen and then this one here is just my other one see they're hungry right now i ain't gonna feed them they can wait a while because i'm just gonna show you what pairs create what all right, so let's get into this. So you need a white cow, which has to be one male, one female. So you need the white cow. I'm going to do it like this. And a chocolate cow. Where is my chocolate cow? So you need a white and a chocolate cow. And with that one there produces this brown cow right here. So the next cow we're going to create is the charcoal cow which same thing you're going to need a white cow but you're also going to need a black cow so here's my black cow which is a female and it doesn't matter if one's a female or a male it's just as long as one is a male and one is a female it's going to help you get what you need so get a black cow as well as a white cow which now is at the end over here and a white cow and then this one here will make this charcoal cow. Now this charcoal cow is very close looking to the black cow. It is just a little bit lighter. It's kind of like a very dark gray. So get a black and a white and you get a charcoal cow. All right. So next you need a charcoal cow and a white cow. So unfortunately I have two males out here. Let's, let's, I mean, we're going to put you away and we're going to put this female out here. So if you put a white cow and a charcoal cow out, this one here, I am going to kill these names. And I do apologize for anyone who knows cows out there. I am going to kill these names. You are going to make a Blorkop. Blorkop? Yeah. So this one here will make this cow right here. So if you put the charcoal in the white, it, it, it makes this one right here. Which if I go to sell it, it is called a blar cop. Blar. Blow. I said blar. Blar cop. So now to make the next cow, this one, actually this one wasn't too bad for me. So you need two of the blar cop cows. So I have a male here. Oop. And let me see, where did I put that female? I have so many cows. I told you I have been breeding like crazy just to be able to do this. And then here is the female. Oh, see, see how they're different, but they are the same thing. See, blar cop. 
And then if you go to this one, oops, this one here, it is a Blar cup. So you can see the difference in a male and a female, which is really pretty. So what this one here makes, keep that there, it makes this Holstein cow. That one makes this cow right here. So the next we need is going to be two Holstein cows. So this is why it took me forever because I have one little female here, this poor little female. And then here is a male right here. They, The only difference between these two is he's not white, he's grayish. And then he's got some black in the front. Now these ones here will make the, um, where is it? Oh, I think it's towards the end. Is it near the end? Where are you? Makes this one right here, which is the Shetland cow. And is this one is like one of my favorites. Okay. This one here. And then as well as this black one with the white spots. This is my favorite in the game. It is just totally adorable. I love this little one. So the next one we are going to make is you need a white cow. So we need a white cow. And you also need a brown cow. So we have white and we have brown. And then this one here is going to make the Ayrshire. I, like I said, I may have said this wrong, but it makes this amazing looking one here. I, I love how like you, you can, you can tell that this one is going to make this cow here. I love this one. This one's really pretty as well. So, all right. So I have a glitch going on here. Um, sometimes when I place cows down, they don't want to go away. So for right now, we're going to go over here and we're going to... <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna show you the last cows you can make for some reason. I don't know what it is. There's a little glitch here. I'm gonna have to let them know that sometimes you can't pick up the cows. You either have to get out of the game or go into like the shop and come back. And I just, I don't feel like doing that. So anyways, so what you need is a, where are you? <laughs> it was probably towards the end now. We'll go all the way to the end. So what we need is an Ayrshire. And I gotta find the other one that I need. Yes. So you need an Ayrshire cow as well as a Larkarp a cow, cow. <laughs> and what these ones here make, oh, where, where are you? I think it's right here. Yes, is the Guernsey cow. Guernsey cow. I don't know how this one makes this cow, but these two here create this one here. And then this one sells for 2,500 as a full grown male. Probably like 2000 for the female. But this is the one that you want to get in the game. So these two here create this cow. So there you have it. That is what you do to create the variations of cows. That is all they currently have in a game right now. If there is any more variations coming out in the future, I will make a video, an updated video, to show you all of the ones you can possibly get. But right now, that is what you can get. In my opinion, the males cost more to sell. But I think the females should cost more to sell because they are actually worth more. They do produce milk, which milk makes the butter. But for right now, the females cost less and the males cost more. So if you have any extra cows, you can either trade them with people or just go ahead and sell them. I am possibly going to leave these ones together, but I'm going to leave them over here in this pen. This is like my little breeding area, I guess. Then I kind of toss them over here until they're full grown. And then I'm going to sell them. So that way I can keep making money and use just leave a bunch of females in there. Now, here is a pro tip. You can only have one male and one female in a pen for them to breed and have a baby. Now, if you put one male in with two females, nothing will happen. If you put in one male with a bunch of females, nothing will happen. Two males, obviously nothing will happen. And same with two females, nothing will happen. So make sure you have one male, one female in its own pen, plenty of food, plenty of water, and they will breed. My suggestion as well is try to stay online while you're breeding because if they run out of food and water, they do stop breeding. And, and it seems to me they kind of reset and they take a while. Now, also, I have this little area here that is kind of open. And when they're over here, breeding does take a little bit longer until the female moves off down here. And then it seems to go a little bit faster. So you want to have this barn up. It will help the process of um, having that baby a lot faster. So that is how you do it. That is what I do. And it took me a long time. So don't be discouraged if you cannot do it. It did take me quite a while. It took me a long time to get everything to make this video. And I hope everything here was helpful and you do enjoy it and, you know, give it a thumbs up. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. The next video, I am going to be trying out the cooking update. Yeah, I'm running late on that, but I am trying to fix my little area here. So this is like a little different area. I'm not sure what I'm going to put over here yet. Probably just more trees. I did get a cabin up and this is where all of my stuff is where I make things and this is where my cooking area is going to be. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.